All right, Ryan Moody here. We're going to be going over your X Wad demo for today Hang Power Cleans and Broad to Height. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. All right, let's see what he's got. So, we're going to be going over Hang Power Cleans. And as you see, I'm going to hit two right here at 155 pounds. We are at 60% of a. One rep max for today. And you notice I hit the two, and then I go right into, or immediately into, my two broad to height. Notice when I land, I immediately go up, there's no pause, and I try to land back in the same spot I hit from the broad jump. Now we're going to go to my rest. I'm going to speed it up just a little bit so we can cut out some of the time. Typically when we're resting, we want to look at roughly one to three minutes of rest time in between sets. It's not Fran. It's not how fast can you get it done. It's interval weight training. So we want to rest in between. So I hit the number one and number two lifts there again. We're in the second set right now. Notice I grabbed some plates. There's our two and a half pound plates for each hand. I grip on them really nice so I don't throw them across the room and then I go vertical with the plates in hand. Uh, it's important to note that you can use really a vest, uh, other plates, dumbbells, you know obviously keep them in your hands, don't let go of them. Again I'm hitting that rest interval of one to three minutes. I think in this video we're doing about one minute. Again one and two for the hang power cleans bar goes down and immediately into the explosive movement. And it's important to note that whenever we do the X wad, you hit your lift and try to immediately go into your explosive movement. We say if you are going to take a break, keep it under 30 seconds. We, we have, we're trying to elicit a really strong stimulus here in the body and we're trying to train the central nervous system to react under pressure, both physically and mentally. Shaking it out, getting ready to go again into the next set. When we do percentages, as you do for this very first one at all levels, we all do the hang power clean and broad to height for all levels um, to start out the X wad programming. But when you're doing percentages, the idea is to do it for speed and efficiency, not just do it to do it. You want to be very efficient in your movement and you want the movement patterns to look really quick. Now if you notice on that last jump, I came out a bit far after I jumped vertical. We call that travel. You want to try to land in the same spot when you hit the broad jump and then go vertical. You don't want to get closer to the bar, if you will, in this video. Alright. This looks to be the last set, I believe. Finishing strong and get two more broad to height to call it a day. And again, remember, the rest intervals are mandatory. They are needed, they are necessary. So do take that one to three minutes in between. What you should notice is towards the end of the workout, it should get a lot easier for both the load and your explosive movement, and you should, typically you hit PRs. And that's gonna be a wrap today for the X-Wad. Thanks guys.